Okay, this is math 6, lesson 1-5. Divide fractions by fractions. In this lesson, we'll be able to divide a fraction by another fraction. Let's look at solve and discuss it. Oops. A granola bar was cut into six equal pieces. Someone ate part of the granola bar so that two-thirds of the original bar remains. How many one-six parts are left? Use the picture to draw a model to represent and find two-thirds divided by one-six. So, the whole granola bar first was cut into six equal pieces. So that's four pieces. You should have two more. And someone ate part of the granola bar so that two-third of the original bar remains. This is one-third so that means that someone ate one-third and only two-third remains. How many one-sixth parts are left? So this is one-third this is another one-third, and that's another one-third. But in terms of one-six, we divide them all, we, we divide all one-thirds into half, and that gives us one-sixth bar of each. So that's one, two, three, four of one-sixth of a bar. Right? Um, numerically, how would you solve two-thirds divided by one-sixth. From the last lesson, we learned that we can use reciprocals to change division into multiplication. So one-third divided by one-sixth is also equal to two-third times reciprocal of one-sixth is six over one. So you just simply multiply 2 times 6 to get 12, 3 times 1 to get 3. And you can simplify that into um, 3's. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So it's 1 and it's 4. So your final answer would be would be 4. So there are 4 1 6 parts left. Let's write that down. There are 4 of 1 6. Let's say 4 1 6 parts Okay, let's look at focus on math practices. How can you use multiplication to check your answer? So, after you divide, how do you know, how do you know if your answer is the correct answer? So, for example, if you divide 6, by 2, you get 3. What is another way to rewrite this so that you get a multiplication? 3, you go backwards. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, in this case, you can multiply your answer and the divisor to get the dividend and see if the dividend is correct. You can, we can multiply our answer for by the divisor one six. So 
So one fourth, no, four over one times one sixth is equal to four over six, or two third, which is the part of the granola bar that remains. So our answer is correct. Okay, let's look at the next page. Throughout this lesson, let's think about how we can divide a fraction by a fraction. Example one, use an area model to divide fractions. Simon buys one half yard of material to make foot bags. How many foot bags can Simon make? Find one half divided by six. So this is the material we have. He uses one sixth of the material for each foot bag that he makes. Um, and the whole material that he has is just one half of a yard. We're gonna divide one half by one sixth to figure out how many of the one sixth parts we can get. One way to solve this problem is to draw an area model and use it. Draw an area model to show the dividend, one half. So if this is the whole thing, we can divide this by one half. We can divide this by half and get one half here. And you can find how many one six are in one half. So if we divide the whole thing again, we have six of the one sixth, right? And three of one sixth would be equivalent to one half. So this could make exactly three foot bags. Okay. So now let's look at the try question on the bottom. Use the number line below to represent 1 6 times 3 equals 1 half. Then write an equivalent equ division sentence. So use the number line and figure out how you can represent this equation. Okay, are you ready for answers? Let's check our answer. So first, you want to divide 1 into 1 6 because we're starting from there. So divide half and then divide by 3 each. And we get 6 equal parts. 1 6 times 3 means you have 3 of that, right? So 1, 2, 3. That's 2 6 and this is 3 6 which is also 1 half so now we have to write an equivalent division sentence how can we change this into a division again if we multiply these two to get a bigger number, then we can divide the answer by any of these to get either of these. So let's write 1 half divided by 1 6 would be 3. Or you can say 1 half divided by 3 is equal to 1 6. Convince me, how are the dividend divisor and quotient represented on the number line? So the dividend is what you're dividing. Divisor is three, is what is the number that you're using to divide the dividend. And the answer is the quotient, okay? So in case you didn't know, this is dividend, and that's divisor. And this is quotient. Okay? So how is it represented? The dividend, one half, is 
Oops, the dividend one half is represented by the tick mark that is halfway between zero and one. One six is represented by each part into which the number line is divided. Three is represented by the number of one six in one half. Those are how they're represented in the number line. Okay, let's look at the next page. Example two, use another area model to divide fractions. How much of a three-fourth cup serving is in two-third cup of yogurt? We can use another type of model to divide it and represent it. So in order to find two-thirds divided by three-fourth, where we have to first show two-third and three-fourth. So in a bar graph, we can draw two-third and three-fourth separately like this. And each of the whole bar represents one. And then we're going to multiply denominators to find a common unit so that we can divide each of them with equal parts. And so 3 times 4 is 12. And if we divide the whole bar into 12 parts, we can get what they're equivalent to. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 of the 12th part. 3 fourths is equivalent to 9 of the 12th part. So 2 thirds is divided into 8 equal parts, while 3 fourths is divided into 9 equal parts. So 2 thirds of a cup is 8 ninth of a 3 fourth cup serving. So we're finding the ratio in this case, 8 to 9. Okay. So let's try the try question here. Find 1 fourth divided by 3 eighth using this area model. Can you do it by yourself? Come back when you're ready for answer. Okay. Let's see if you got it. Okay, I'm going to draw one fourth. So draw one fourth. You're going to divide the bar into one fourth. And you get this part, right? What about three eighth? You're going to divide the same bar into eight pieces. And they already have a common denominator, which is 8. So you can divide this also in 8 pieces. And see how many pieces we have for 1 fourth and the, one, and the 3 eighths. For this one, we have 2 pieces of 1 eighth. This one, we have 3 pieces of 1 eighth. So, your answer is just simply two third. Okay, that one's easy. All right, let's look at example three, our last example, divide fractions. Andrew has three fourth gallon of orange juice. He wants to pour it into one six gallon containers. How many containers can Andrew fill? So we have three fourth gallon here and he's going to fill up these, uh, these cups, these containers, which is one sixth each. And we want to know how many. So we're going to divide three fourths into one sixth to see how many. Three fourths divided by one sixth, numerically, you can rewrite the division into multiplication, like we learned in the last lesson. So change divide by 1 6 into multiply by the reciprocal of 1 6 which is 6 over 1. 
And then you can multiply 3 times 6, which is 18, 4 times 1, which is 4, and simplify that into a mixed number, 4 and 1 half. So Andrew can fill 4 and half containers. Okay, let's look at the try question. See if you can find the area. How, uh, or the width. How wide is a rectangular strip of a land with a length of three-fourth mile and an area of one-half square mile? Use the area formula, area equals length times width. So if you know area is length times width, we already know the information for area and the length. So in order to find the width, you want to divide the area by the length. Okay, so figure out the width, see if you can do it by yourself, come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you done? Fill in the blanks and the answers. Alright, so you're going to divide one half by three fourths, which is your length. Right? And so that is your width. Which means you can change the division into a multiplication by using the reciprocal of 3 fourth. What is the reciprocal of 3 fourth? It is 4 over 3. And so your width is 4 times 1, 4, and 2 times 3, 6, which you can simplify into two-thirds. So the strip of land is two-third mile wide. Did you get it right? If you did, good job! Now let's summarize our lesson. To divide a fraction by fraction, you can rewrite the division equation as a multiplication equa equation. So the division becomes multiplication if you use the reciprocal of the divisor. Okay guys, that was lesson 1-5, divide fractions by fractions. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask Ms. King in class. Otherwise, we'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Thanks. Bye!